when I went to Mongolia, uh, we were kind of undercover agents. The mission president wasn't, well, no one came to the airport really to pick us up. Um, and we weren't allowed to talk to each other. I was with five other missionaries because we weren't allowed to be missionaries in Mongolia. We were kind of, uh, yeah, we weren't proselyting and we didn't wear name tags and things like that. We were just English teacher, English teachers, so. It has a different smell than uh, what I was used to, although it's not a bad smell. It can to be the most wonderful smell. I mean, it's not like dirty garbage or anything like that smell, so uh, it was a, it's a different smell, it's a different feel. It's, um, it's a very poverty-stricken country. In the city, there's the one big city in Mongolia, and in the middle there's um, buildings and it's it's big, it's getting grew big and growing, but on the outskirts, which is 99% of the city, maybe not 99, maybe 90% of the city, is um, what they call Gare districts, and that's the little um, yurts, they have the yurts, which they call Gares, and then they have like little houses that are maybe one or two rooms, and that's what most of the city entails of, yeah. Um, actually, I don't know if I'd say 90%, maybe 80%. 80, 85, I don't know. The city is growing just so fast. It's uh, growing at rapid rates.